Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am doing another foundation tutorial for you guys today. I am doing the Revlon Age Defying with DNA Advantage. It says it's a creamy makeup and this color is 10 Bare Buff. So we're gonna try it out. Anything that's like age defying, I love. But my problem is most age defying foundations do not stay on my skin for some reason. I don't know if they have too many moisturizers or creams in them. They typically don't stay. So here's two pumps on my hand. It is runny. You can see how it's running down my hand. It's not extremely runny because obviously I'm doing that. And let's go ahead and feel what it feels like. So it just feels like a very, like it just feels like a watery foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to half of my face and we're gonna see the coverage. Hopefully the coverage is good and it will last all day long. I will check in throughout the day and show you guys what I think of this makeup, if it did last, if it did not. So I'm putting it on under my eye here and it looks like it is a pretty dewy finish, which is not bad. It just looks like it's a dewy finish. So let's see if it actually covers get the fat part of the blender and see I'm gonna do half my face I'll be right back hey guys, so what do you think I think that it looks really pretty it is a very dewy finish you can see that like I was saying I think most um, anti-aging foundations are more of a dewy finish just because of all the moisturizers in them but I think the color and the coverage look freaking awesome if I look in the mirror here I'm going to say that it is a medium coverage um, I think that if you I applied one more coat it would be more of a full coverage but it is definitely a beautiful medium coverage um, medium heavy coverage um, yeah medium yeah so anyways I'm <laughs> just repeating myself here <laughs> I do like the finish. I am gonna cross my fingers and hope that this lasts all day. I am wearing a primer under my skin. I believe I just have a lasting finish primer by Rimmel. Um, and hopefully it stays down. I have a dentist appointment and a bunch of stuff to do today. And I will see you guys in a little bit to tell you if this actually works. I do have very oily, oily skin. And typically a foundation will not stay on within my T-zone and especially in my nose. So we're gonna put this to the test. I will see you in a little bit. I'm gonna turn on the camera and show you what it looks like. I think the finish looks very, very natural. It looks like it's my skin. It does look like it's my skin, more so because of the dewiness in the foundation. And the color is great. Once again, my color is Bare Buff. I think it's a perfect match for me. Normally, typically, I buy a nude, but I, this is this looks great. So I'm going to go check in with you guys in a second again. Hey, guys, I thought I would turn on the camera and show you the foundation. Obviously, it's removed right there where my sunglasses hit. But I did want to tell you that I did have to set, I did have to put this foundation on three times while I was putting my makeup on because um, I normally put a foundation on and then I put powder to set that foundation. And within my nose area and under here, it became very chunky and it separated. And you can see a little bit of that still right here how you see how it's not just beautifully set like this you can see that looks like it's a little broken up so I am wearing it right here through my nose and my a little bit of my t-zone area uh, without any powder on top because I tried it it did the same thing I tried it again it did the same thing so I just had to apply it without setting it throughout that area and I did want to tell you guys that. Hey guys, so this is two hours later. I just got my teeth cleaned and my pearly whites cleaned. Okay, so they my foundation obviously came off in this area where the dental hygienist had her hands on my face uh, cleaning my teeth, but I did want to zoom in here and show you guys this. Look at this. So besides where my glasses touch, you can see my nose area. Look at this. So it already started to lift and it's interesting right here within the cheek area, this is where it was set with some powder. It almost like it's look at it's almost like it's coming up and becoming cakey. So it's wiping off within my nose area and it's coming up within my cheek. It's getting cakey here and wiping off, which is really weird. And this is only two so hours. Because later. it is lifting, I'm gonna take just a dry beauty blender here and I'm gonna push it down, see if it will go back down and kind of set because I'm going out on a lunch date with my husband and I don't want my foundation to be all running off 
So what did this do? It looks like it pushed it back down, but it looks really funny. Let me get some better lighting. Look at my nose. It pushed it back down, but it also like made some, it pushed it back down, but there's also some areas here that look like they have no foundation on. So, I'm going to say just because of all these complications, and mind you, this is only two hours later, I'm going to give this product a thumbs down. Now, if I touched it up throughout the day, it is honestly a beautiful color. It is a beautiful finish, but most people won't touch up their makeup every two hours, you know? But so, you know, unfortunately, I do love Revlon Color Stay. I love their old school Color Stay. That is a fantastic formula, but this one... It looks beautiful, but it does not last. And you will have to touch it up every two hours, like I was saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you guys could, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and if you want to be in my next video, go ahead and email me your best selfie. I put my email address down below. I put all my fans in my videos. I am Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.